Rocco, that's quite a good look you have right there. I'm assuming that is just part of the birthday celebration. How was this for a birthday? It was uh, it was a great birthday. Um, you know, we I didn't, wasn't expecting this in any way. I got uh, my face thrown in the cake, which is perfectly fine by me. Um, but it, it also means a lot, too. We, we have fun over here, and, and, you know, inside the clubhouse, um, it's a great day every day, and, and I mean that. Uh, we, we thoroughly enjoy each other's uh, company, and this is just, just, just one example of uh, what we like to do. Felt a little bit like yesterday. Had to wait a bit for the offense to get going. And when it did, it was another young guy in Luis Arise who continues to just step up in huge ways. Uh, how nice was it to see him be the latest to get you guys a big win? Yeah, um, you know, we certainly had to, to work for it tonight. And then uh, their two guys that they were piggybacking did a, did a great job. They threw the ball very well, Norris and Verhagen. Um, you know, we had to uh, find a way to make it happen. And, you know, Miggy... Uh, with Miggy, right? Worked a good at bat, and then then Louis just puts a good swing on the ball. And Louis's been Louis's been doing stuff like that for us all year. You don't know uh, exactly wh what he's going to do, but generally he's going to find the barrel and he's going to put put a good swing on it and spray it around the field. And he sprayed this one in the stands, which was really nice. And it was the run support that Randy Dobnik had been waiting for. He was very impressive again. Do you continue to just to be impressed by what he's able to do out there? Yeah, he was awesome. Um, his his latest outings. Uh, they have kind of resembled each other, and he's, he's kind of one-upping himself somehow every time he goes out there. Um, he uh, he was locked in from the from the very beginning. Um, he, I mean, I, I don't know what else you can say. I, th I think he's going to be feeling really good, uh, you know, heading out and going to his wedding. And uh, this is a great outing and uh, just a great contribution to uh, to sit on over the weekend while he has you know some actually more important things going on, um, some personal things. So we're really happy for him and, and also happy for uh, for us as a group. It was a great day. So now what is it like for you when you sit and wait here to see the outcome in Chicago? Um, we're going to we're going to wait it out. I think we're going to take a little bit, little bit of uh, time here. We're going to slow play it in the clubhouse, um, have a kind of a normal post game, except just maybe take a little bit longer and see what's going to happen. And uh, you know, I, I, I do like to say that you know I hope it does happen. Um, there's no way to know you know the way anything's going to play out going forward. But I think we put ourselves in a great position, and uh, now we'll just wait and see. It seems like you guys kind of started off a little flat. Uh, you got to, what did it take to finally get the steam going? Well, I think, like I said, I think their pitchers were throwing the ball very well. Um, you know, you have to give the, the uh, you know, the opposition some credit here. I mean, the, the, the Tigers staff has done a nice job. I mean, yesterday they did too. Um, you know, we continued to just try to have good quality at bats, you know, try to get a, get a guy or two on base, and maybe someone will do something big, and that's exactly what happened. Scoreboard watching chatter in the dugout during the game? Um, I'll say this, it's been, at least openly, it's it's kind of bare minimum. Um, you know, over the course of the year, there are, you know, a bunch of games that you do, you know, you watch and we talk and you know people on other teams and, you you know, you glance up at the scoreboard. We're, we're kind of locked in on what we're doing for the most part, um, but, uh, I mean, today's a day that's probably a little bit unlike the rest of the days um, where if we put ourselves in position to win the game then another game actually directly affects something and um, were, were there people watching probably so and uh, I think that's probably all right today yeah I would say uh, that was that was a nifty play and uh, you know that's one of those that um, you certainly are not planning for you're certainly uh it, it's kind of a one-of-a-kind situation you know go slide make a good play on a ball ball kind of pops up and uh it was a good athletic play and you've got to kind of be in the right place at the right time and then also finish it um and he snatched it out of the sky and uh it was it was it was really cool what kind of cake was it it happened so fast i have absolutely no idea the it was uh i think it was some sort of white white cake. I don't know what that even means. I don't know if it's vanilla or not, but it was a light colored cake with uh, some pretty good frosting. You guys have at least guaranteed yourself a game Monday by winning here today. Um, just against that point and accomplishing that, what's, what's that mean, I guess? Um, it all means a lot. I mean, every win that gets us closer to our goal is, is meaningful to us. Um, we have approached all of these games the same way. It's gotten us to a good place. Um, we're very, uh, we're very proud of the way that we've, you know, performed and handled ourselves as a group 
to get to this point. Um, and, you know, we don't think we're done. So we're, we're basically just uh, going to approach today and, and, you know, tomorrow if we have to play the same way. But, uh, again, I, I, uh, I'm very, very pleased with the way our guys have gone about their business all year long.